Hello everybody, Ministorm here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the cultist campaign. In the last episode, we ended our war with the Panori Autocracy, forcing a status quo. And uh, then we continued working on exploring and expanding. We're grabbing some territory over here in this region. And um, we are dealing with a bit of an energy crisis. So we're trying to see if we can't deal with that. We have a generator district being built here on Requiem. Um, I think we converted a mining district to a generator district. No, 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 it was an agricultural district to a generator district over here. But we're still losing energy credits every month, so we're going to need to uh, find a way around that. Uh, there are a couple of ways we can do that. Well, we continue to build generator districts. We can build buildings to create energy credits. Um, we can also grab systems that have energy, like these over here. Or we can try to grab some more trade value, because trade value gets converted into credits. And we have a lot of trade value over here. So the Oaprinda system, which we just recently grabbed, needs to be upgraded, which we are in the process of upgrading, and we're going to basically turn this into a big trade hub. So that's the purpose of that starbase. So once that gets upgraded, which is going to take... How long was that going to take? 37 more days. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get that building. Um, another thing that we need to think about is what we're going to do with all these primitives. Someone mentioned that in the comments, and I agree that we need to decide what it is we're going to do with them. I also need to get this system claimed and start doing something with these guys, because these guys are early space age. It won't take them much longer before they're going to actually become their own independent civilization. We can either let them do that, I would rather not, but we can let them do that if we wanted to. Or we can try to seize control of them. I think seizing control of them is the better option, so I need to get a construction ship out in that direction. What are you doing right now? You are searching abandoned caravaneer ship. You are building mining stations over there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and unpause it. Let's uh, see how things go. Because we also have this generator district that's going to be done in 200 days. That should help things a little bit. Construction complete. All right. Automated shipyard. While conducting their survey of unpronounceable four, the Tanir detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. One of its manufacturing base is still in working condition. Science officer Vubi Jagor is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it requires significant project. Repair automated Situation shipyard. Updated. That sounds like it could be useful. We're going to need a construction ship in orbit. It may be worth building another construction ship. All right, so now you trade hub, trade hub, and we don't have any more alloys. We're going with an off-world trading company. We need a solar panel network there, so yeah. Construction complete. All right, you finished. All right, so now we have a new construction ship. And what you're going to do is you're going to head down there and you're going to do the research projects. All right, 
right, this guy's almost done the special project. Anomaly found. All right, what do we got here? Sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of this gas giant. Ooh. That could potentially be good. All right, research it. <clears throat> All with defects. Likely due to the vessel being a civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed as part of the decommissioning process. So while nothing else of value was found aboard the ship, our data scientists have managed to recover partial references to unknown alien technologies. We get geoscanners as a research option. Complete. Interesting. All right, you head down here and get a starbase built. You... Head... Uh, just go ahead and build a research station there. Construction complete. All right, we're at plus zero, so we're not losing any credits. Well, now we are. All right, survey's done there. All right. So, you should probably head out there and begin surveying this section of the galaxy. Alright, so, what options do we have for our various observation posts? Uh, let me just, um... Hold on. Let me just slow things down just a tad here, because we're running pretty high speed. Um, these guys are late medieval age. Oh, hold on. We got chemical plants. All right. Apply our physics research and researchers plus twenty percent. Unlocks hyperdrive two. Unlocks planetary FTL inhibitors and starbase FTL inhibitors. That'll be very useful. But I'm gonna go with the applied quantum physics for now. All right, the VFS Tamiri has picked up a strange energy signal coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Broken 5. It appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital station. The atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of the unique signature have yielded a large amount of valuable physics data. Ah, oh well. That isn't the, um, like the gas giant ship event where you can actually get a cruiser class vessel. But a bunch of physics research is not a bad thing. All right. So right now we're on passive observation. We could go to aggressive observation. Natives are aggressively studied and specimens are frequently collected to learn as much as possible about their biology and culture. Or we have the idea of indoctrination through subtle influencing their society and culture. Natives can be brought around to our way of think thinking. That actually sounds like something we would probably want to do. So I'm going to switch over to indoctrination. Ooh, is that going to cost us energy credits to do? That will cost us energy credits. Aggressive observation will not cost us energy credits. All right, let's let's bump up to aggressive observation. If we can sort out this whole energy issue, complete. then we can change those. Now, we can't, like, um, infiltrate them or anything like that, because they have to be at least industrial. Which is something we can do to these guys. Weren't we researching Starhold? No. It may have been an option. I can't quite remember. Alright, construction ship there is done. Can I grab... Yeah, grab that system. Starbase outpost.
bump speed back up again. Now, I do want to get another colony going at some point. I was thinking this desert world here. Because it has the additional happiness, never-ending aurora, a weak magnetic field, physics research from jobs, engineering research from jobs, and natural beauty, which increases happiness and immigration pull. So even though it's a 60% habitability, the um, the happiness won't be an issue. It has a lot of agricultural potential, which is interesting for a desert world. A lot of blockers on the mining districts. Let's see. Star system charted. You have colossal cliffs. These cliffs rise well over a mile into the sky and have clouds form around their bases. The geographical forces that formed them must have been cataclysmic. Just watch your step. And clear skies. Happiness 5%. These have a lot of potential generator districts. This may be the better option. Mara dead of B4. I unfortunately don't have sufficient alloys. But once I do, we can go there. Star system charted. Technology like, there we go. That ought to do. Oh no, we need another 84. Uh, what are you? We got destroyers. Nice. All right, uh, crystal infused plating, coil guns, synthetic crystal plants, Corvette build speed, Corvette build cost, afterburners. I would say, let's grab some crystal infused plating. It's only gonna take two months to finish that off. And we now, I keep pushing that button. Been playing Transport Fever, which is a new series on my channel, and Tab switches game speeds. That doesn't work in this game. <laughs> All right, so we got the crystal infused plating, star holds. Yes, we want those. 114 months. Good grief. Uh, consumer goods is becoming an issue. Okay. Consumer goods is becoming an issue. Construction complete. Unlocks at 10 pops. How many pops do we have on this planet? We have eight pops on this planet. Our branch officer in Pishar inside the Nigeri study complex was recently forced to close after mass arrests made by the local authorities. It seems that the recent reduction in crime on the moon enabled their law enforcement agencies to focus their efforts on disrupting our operations. Unfortunate. Is that over here? No, I don't think so. It actually cost us money. That's still in the process of colonization. The 
Rashethi have. Wow, that is producing a lot of credits for them. That's producing a decent amount of credits for us. They have a hundred percent crime. Um, gang wars, crime lord deal, yeah. They don't have 50 pops yet. They have 34 pops. No, this is the planet where we didn't, where we had a branch office. Um... This one's probably the better option. Establish a branch office here. There we go. One point two energy credits. Not a lot, but it's something. All right, we have a construction ship. It's done. Uh, get those mining stations built. Science ship. Continue your surveys. Star system. We are dropping consumer goods, but the issue is not. Not critical. Minus 0.02. So it's just barely dropping. I'm hoping I can get a building slot open on one of these planets before we have to worry about that. Because then we can build a, a factory to make consumer goods. Actually, you know what? You can be set to auto explore. Strategic resource discovered. During a survey of Yad Bem 7A, the Tamiri discovered deposits of rare crystals. These crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams, and they are also a critical component of advanced electronics. Mission many cultures treasure them as decorations and adornments. We don't yet possess the means to extract a resource. We should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. We definitely will be. Ethic changes. Jabbath 2. Several of our abduction teams stationed on the observation post of a Jabbath 2 apparently been using the thrusters of their shuttles to burn large circles and complex patterns in the crop fields belonging to the primitive Othethi that are indigenous to the planet. Shuttle crews have been severely reprimanded for this prank, but the crop circles appear to have taken on some sort of religious significance for the natives. A new religion has formed based on these patterns and is gaining popularity among the Othethi, Othethi at an alarming rate. Interesting. I think we could probably switch them over to indoctrination. So it costs us some energy credits, but we'll see what comes of that. Construction complete. There we are. Special project completed. The VFS to Monarch and successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over unpronounceable five. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build three advanced raiders of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent crews to this new ships and commissioned them into our fleet. Excellent. We have our new ships, which are Raider class vessels. Uh, 
And they can be, they have small UV lasers and medium coil guns. That's pretty decent. Uh, go ahead and merge them in to the primary fleet. All right, you get some mining stations building. You... Uh, get a star base in that system, and you get a star base in that system. Technology secured. All right, star base capacity plus two. Good. Unlocks clearing tile blockers. Society Research and Researchers. We'll go for the Society Research and Researchers. More Research and Researchers. Anomaly found. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint Star alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Alright, figure out what it is. And you have both of your trade hubs. Can you build that um, off-world trading company? Yes, build that and build the solar panel network as well. A mummified pilot. The mum mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit over Yacht Bem 3. Being appears is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit completely with a helmet, maybe a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle to be forgotten and left behind. Alright, we've got some society research data. Now I can we Fertile mushrooms. A report has come in about the giant mushroom forests of Mudstrom Prime. Why oh, do we need to rename that? It seems these giant mushrooms only bloom every few years. Uh, such an event took place recently. The skies turned bright pink for days as the spores launched from the tops of these mushrooms. It didn't take long for these spores to cover everything in a bright pink layer. A few days after, mushrooms started growing everywhere they could. Added three more mushroom forests. Construction. Yeah, tons of potential agricultural districts there. That's going to be a massive farming planet. Eventually. Now we were... Oh, I never did actually send this, did I? No, because we don't have enough... Hmm... Right. I just spent all of the uh, alloys that we had. Mining stations. Oh! I was too slow. Zanami Blessed Administration. We can offer them subsidiary status. Things that they will, we will protect them, but they will have to pay us 25% of their energy income and join us in our wars. As corporate authority, relative power is greater than or equal to superior. If refused, grant subjugate cast spell. Um, they 
They're xenophilic fanatic spiritualists. Do I want to make them a subsidiary or just go ahead and conquer them? Hmm, I guess I'll hold off on that. Maybe get some feedback. See what y'all think. Anomaly found. <sighs> oh well. Alright, a class 12 asteroid. Hold on. Class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. The small uh, planet orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be natural occurrence. Alright. There's been an unexpected series of diplomatic incidents with the Nagyari Stellar Commonwealth, straining relations between us. Third party had a hand in this. We can find no evidence of it. Unfortunate. Uh, I think that's someone else doing some espionage. Major diplomatic incident. Because we did, we have um, like research agreement, defensive packs. So someone is trying to throw a monkey wrench into our into our diplomatic relations here. Uh, let's see, standardized work schedules, food and mineral output from slaves is increased. Yeah, let's let's finish off this. We're gonna grab the Ministry of Propaganda. Star system charted. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Oxmon 5. Massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whatever did this, or whoever did this, also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Okay. Now we're starting to make some energy credits. Let's see, let's switch our observations over to indoctrination. Alright, a classical impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once. Go ahead and figure out what it is. Construction complete. So you're done there. Large mineral which asteroid collided with Oxymon 6 at some point during the previous thousand years. It must have been a major impact event. An abundance of minerals can now be found on this planet in the vicinity of the impact crater. Nice. Let's get our outposts built. Star system charted. Construction complete. Star system charted. I don't have enough influence to build a star base there. Alright, we have... Let's see, we have... There. Trade value there and there. I mean, building a military station in core, complete. potentially. So you build a trade hub here. Well, before I do that, galactic market. Through our newly established contacts, you have gained access to a galactic marketplace for the purchase and sale of resources. It will surely be a great boon. Why is it to our economy? Alright, we... what's the issue here? 
has unemployed pops. Worker jobs. Let's see what we want to go with. Available amenities is negative one. So I think we need to go with the city district. Build it. Research station, let's see. Where are you and what are you doing? You are there. All right, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead we're going to colonize here. I'll call this Demeter. Send them out. Construction complete. Unlock to five pops, which should hopefully be happening soon. Anomaly found. Uzan's societal drift. We have opened the eyes of the Uzans to a spiritual realm they never knew was there. They finally have something to believe in. Society is all the richer for it. Okay, they will thank us for this one day. Well, maybe not. I doubt it. We're altering their ideology to make them more pliable in the future. All right, Tamiri, you can go ahead and survey there, and you can head there to build an outpost. So an unexpected series of diplomatic incidents with the Nagyari Sally Commonwealth straining relations between us. Jeez. Construction complete. Research agreement has been broken. And the defensive pact has ended. Anomaly found. Alright, caught an orbit around Z95498 is a small unknown object and such a high speed of beggar's belief. Okay. Hostile attitude. Another major diplomatic incident. Well, we'll have to sort out what we're going to do about that. But I think that we are at the end of the episode here. So I'll be taking, I guess, suggestions on what we want to do with these guys. This is a Nami. Do we want to conquer them? Or do we want to make them a subsidiary? Or what else? That's an that's their army? Yeah, those are transports. They built a fairly sizable army right out of the gate. 
But it looks like they have no actual, like, warships. So they would be fairly easy to take out, I would think. Alright, but for now, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.